taken out are some live pictures from Sky 10 and HD as crews slowly put this incredibly giant drill into place in Miami. This is going to be used to carve out the port tunnel. That drill is the key part of the billion dollar tunnel project. And it was just incredible to see this massive drill be put into place today. Local 10's Ross Palumbo is live now near the port with more on this milestone day. Ross. Well, Lori Calvin, it is a milestone, and watching it go in was completely incredible, as you say. Now, this is what drivers out here along the MacArthur Causeway have been seeing for months. But over here, this enormous crane, that is brand new. And at the other end of those wires, that cutting block is still suspended. We can give you a better look from Sky 10 HD up above. The engineers at this moment are still trying to attach the cutting block to the rest of the tunnel boring machine. This after it took five hours just to get that cutting block down there. We started to uh, put the shield up in the air at about 10 o'clock this morning. It is a high stakes, high wire act, half a billion pounds and millions of dollars of sharp steel dangling from a few wires. And as drivers sped by, as engineers stood sweating the details, as even workers stopped to watch. Wow, it's amazing. It was slowly dropped down, inch by inch, to start digging up Miami's port tunnel. That's the mechanism that will be like a razor cutting into the limestone. That mechanism is this cutting head, the business end to a tunnel boring machine a football field long. To give you an idea of exactly how tall this monster is, take a look at it from up in the air. I'm exactly six feet tall and the plate right over there, that monster is 42 feet high, exactly seven times as tall as I am. During the next eight months, it will push through underground to the port of Miami, then spend another six months boring back. The pieces to this $45 million puzzle began arriving more than two months ago from Germany. When fully assembled, it will be the largest TBM in the country. It's the first of its kind. This machine was built just for this job. And it's already building jobs. I have been out of work for a year. Grandmother Chris Tully filling one of the nearly 1,000 jobs this project has already unearthed and getting more than money. I'm a part of history for Miami. I was born and raised in Miami and it's a part of history. Well, it is a big part of history in the making right now. You're looking again at pictures from Sky 10 in HD, and we want to show you the relationship where this work is going on all the way across government cut to the port of Miami. It doesn't really look that far, but again, Calvin Laurie, it is going to take them eight months just to get to one side. We also want to give you this different perspective. An engineer shot this photo for us just a little while ago, and you can see how enormous that machine is compared to those engineers. Back out here live on the ground, you can see a few of those workers working on the periphery out here. Again, nearly a thousand workers, 72% Lori Calvin coming from right here in South Florida, and they are going to be working 24 hours a day, seven days a week for more than a year to get this done. And the completion project, I believe, is what, May of 2014 for both tunnels, correct? That's right. That is because the Panama Canal uh, redo is going to be completed in 2014, and they want to make sure that they are able to deal with the, the traffic in the Port of Miami so we get all the business. And we, heard, we hear they're calling it Harriet? I'm, I'm sorry. One more time, Lori. I'm losing we heard they're bit. calling it Harriet. They nicknamed it. You know, I haven't heard a nickname for it yet, but we're going to get a little bit closer. Coming up new at 11, we'll see what the engineers have to say and what they are calling their uh, pet project down here. Okay, you see if that name's true. Too funny. Ross Palumbo, live in downtown. Thank you. We're now following breaking.